I'm going to do something a little bit different uh, this time with respect to the texture. I'm going to just walk you through uh, the layers of my various substance painter materials to, to show you how I uh, achieve this. So in part one, we modeled, we basically modeled this, all right? And then in Blender, I unwrapped this. And the way I unwrapped it was I simply used Smart UV Project for the saw blade and this piece here. And then for the bat, I added a seam up at the top. There's a round piece there and at the bottom. And then I just had a, a seam going down there. And then I pressed unwrap. And for the bindings here or the wrap, I just used Smart UV Project again. All right, so I have three materials. I had saw, bat, wrap. And I'm gonna come into Substance Painter and here is the model. All right, I've just changed the lighting to Bus Garage for this. And I'm just going to show you my layers over here and tell you what I did. And then you can recreate it if you want, or you can use different materials if you're modeling something like this. All right, so the first thing that I did is I started with a basic metal. This was a fill layer. And I came in here and I just, I just got rid of the normal. And I chose sort of a dark gray on here. I left the height the same. I could have gotten rid of that if I wanted to. I, I dropped the roughness down just a little bit. I didn't want it too shiny, all right? And I brought the metallic all the way up. And then on that fill, I chose a magic wand, add filter, and I added this filter, matte finish rough. So that filter is, you know, if you come here and go add filter and you choose it, it's this one here, matte finish rough. All right, so I added that filter and that was my sort of base metal and that gave it that mottled appearance and then I have another layer on top of here you can see it's a little darker and what I did here is I chose a slightly darker color actually I chose this material steel rust and wear that's just in the materials if you go for metal here it's this one here steel rust and wear I just dragged that in added a black mask and then I used my polygon fill to select this middle section here just so I have a slightly different tone to that all right then I added some edge wear I, I chose a, uh, a sort of a light gray color and I used the metal edge wear generator right you add a black mask add a generator and choose metal edges and I just played with the values a little bit until I got what I wanted drop down the opacity a little bit so there's a, there's a little bit of white in there or light gray on top of that i added some dirt all right i used the dirt generator here played with the values and i painted in a little bit of dirt around the, the holes and stuff like that and where i where i wanted a little bit of extra dirt on there so nothing earth shattering at all and then we got into a little bit of blood so I chose a, a dark red color, added a black mask and grunge. I used grunge stains leaky, played with the balance a little bit. Actually doesn't look like I did much for that. Didn't change the scale. So that came on uh, nice. And then I added a paint layer and I painted in a little bit of what I wanted and gotten rid of a, of a little bit just to have a bit of blood on there, a little bit on here as well. And then I added some rust, rust fine. That's just a material. So come in here, search for rust, rust fine, dragged it in. I added a black mask. And then I actually, what I did, I think I used the, um, the smart masks type rust. And I think I used this surface rust, drag it in. That'll give you this. And then just play with some of the values a little bit and uh, mostly to the balance and the contrast if if even at all and then i i painted some rust in as well so you just come up here on the mask just go add paint layer so if i do that and then if i do this okay i'm in a race mode so you see i can i can paint more rust on but i would tend to come over here and use a dirt brush you know maybe decrease the flow and then you can paint in some rust if that's what you choose to do all right, so I had that effect. And then the final thing, I added a little bit more blood on here. And because it was a paint layer, the values have changed, so I can't really show you that, but as you can see, I've got some height in there and some, some um, uh, roughness, low roughness values. So that's what I did for, for the saw. 
and then I came over to the bat and I had already created this wood material when I did the post-apocalyptic classroom so I I added that and then I added some dirt on top of that just the dirt generator all right and I painted a bit of dirt in where I wanted it and then I started adding blood and I think what I did is I think I actually copied it from the saw I copied it and, and put it on there so again it's grunge stains leaky it doesn't look like I really made any changes to that but I I did a bit of painting painted some on where I wanted it added some of that rust as well on there which kind of worked out well uh, okay I added grunge scratches rough actually to uh, I take it back that wasn't rust that was just a, a color that I wanted in there and then I added some text and I figured you know in baseball it's like you're out so I I, um, I got this this color here sort of this brownish color sorry let's, let's go up to here added this red color drop the height and did the text and then I copied it just to make it look a little a little uh, darker and I used some paint and I uh, sort of scraped it out a little bit and then I added a little bit more blood on top and that gave me the, both the saw and the bat and then for the wrap I used a, um, a smart material this fabric uh, Dolby aged and I'm not sure where that is uh, there it is right there okay so I may be something I downloaded from substance share and then I came in here and I uh, let's see uh, there was an edges in here let's let's bring it in one more time actually and hide that bring that in so it's like that and then yeah the or the dirt I think I changed the color of the dirt because I changed the color of this to a darker color and then the dirt here let's see where is it fibers yeah maybe I got rid of the fibers let's get rid of that and bring that back yeah we got rid of the fibers so I had that and then I added a little bit of blood on top of that. Just sprayed it on there. It looks like I used paint. And that gave me my final, my final uh, texture. Okay. And that's it. So there's nothing uh, special at all about it. It's rather gruesome. It's uh, a bit more gruesome than the stuff that I usually would do. And then I post-processed it. All right, I basically I bring it into GIMP, sharpen it a little bit, uh, add some color balance, probably a little bit of blue and a little bit of red, and uh, do an S curve in in the curves filter, I guess. And then I brought it into Topaz Studio, which is a photography uh, software, uh, to give a, a few more effects to give me the final look. Now that's all from a screenshot. That's not from a render. And so uh, what I did is I posted this in the whip section of the Blender Mini Challenge Fantasy Weapons. And uh, I guess for the final, I would go back and uh, do some kind of a render. So it may end up looking a little different. But that's how I did that. All right. So uh, as in the first video, the, uh, the reference image is available uh, if you want to download it and model this. And then you can try to texture it in Blender if you want with the metal and a a wood and a plasticky or rubber kind of material or you can use substance paint or an experiment with the various metals and woods and uh, whatever you like there leather or rubber or something or fabric and see what you come up with all right so thanks very much for watching and i will see you in the next video